Hello, everyone. I don't hear you. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you this evening? How are you guys? My thanks and you? Doing all right. Everything is good. Nice. Everything is awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good, good. I'm glad to see you one more time. Welcome to another class. I need to check on everyone else because I don't see a lot of people. Let's turn the cameras on, please. Andrea, Guzman, Carla, Clara, I don't see you. Saul Garcia, let's turn the cameras on, please join me. There you are. Thank you, Saul. Andrea, thank you. Awesome. Alrighty. So, we finished practicing imperatives and infinitives last time, right? Everything was clear. That means we can move on and advance to the next topic. Let me share my screen so you can see. Okay, we already finished this part. So everybody access the platform, please. And let's see where we did this. In your life. Number 10. We're going to have a discussion later about the future. Okay. Meanwhile, let's begin here. Okay. Later, we'll talk about the future. We're going to start section three right now. So, can you read the objective, please? Set us on the web. Hello, I don't understand. Hi, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. Mm -hmm. For discussing celebrations. Okay. Who would like this topic? It, take notes on the vocabulary, please, because we're about to use it. Let's listen. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, Wedding. Very good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the word in your screen. Anniversary. Okay. Repeat after me. This is the vocabulary you have to have. Okay. Repeat after me. Anniversary. 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 Make sure you're saying the right anniversary. 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 Cake. 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 Can you hear that? C -c 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 -cake. Cake. 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 Very good. Cards. 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 That's right. Yeah. Cards. Good. Dancing. 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 Uh huh. No, it's not. Dancing and it's not dancing. It's a combination. It's like that. I don't know. It's a combination of the two sounds. <clears throat> so you say dan, dan, dancing. 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 Fireworks. 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 Very good. Flowers. 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 Fruit punch. Fruit, fruit punch. punch. Fruit punch. No, this is fruit. 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 No, fruit. Fruit, fruit punch. 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 Yes. Punch. Parade. 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 Party. 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 Right. Presents. 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 Roast turkey. Roast, Roast turkey. turkey. Wedding. 
wedding. Wedding. wedding. Okay, you know, don't say it in Spanish. You know what fireworks are? Yeah. Yes? I'll show you an image. These are fireworks, okay? Now I'm going to show you what a parade is. Parade. Look. This is a parade. Can you see? What is the most famous parade in El Salvador, guys? Carnaval of Samia. Oh, but that's a carnival. It's not a parade. They have parades too? The Del Correo. Day. Isn't it the Day. post office parade? The Fila del Correo. I think that's the most important one, right? No? Where is not the Independence Day? Um, yeah, it has to be. That's going to be next month, by the way. So, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know the meaning of all of them? Cake. Cards. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice speaking right now. So, uh, this is the first question. I will send you the questions through WhatsApp, okay? But before I send them to WhatsApp, start with question number one which is going to be a uh, make a list of 10 things need for a party the most essential things you need in a party all right so as a group make a list and then i will send you some questions to discuss to practice speaking okay i will be with you in a second is that clear ready yes yes Alrighty, very good. Now we're gonna work in groups of three. So let's see. Two, three, three, four. Mm, flowers. We're gonna do that in small groups. Okay. So accept the invitation, please. Everyone, I already okay. sent it. Just did. And start with this. I'll send you more questions. Let's do it. Is the general way to say drink. Oh, okay. In Spanish, it's bebidas. Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're good. Tequila. <laughs> you can add that to, if you want to. Hi. <laughs> uh, so that's an essential? No. no. What are the most essential things in a party? Food. Yes, food is one of them. So let's make the For list. Is... Who is writing the list? Drink. Ah, uh, okay. Food, drinks, what else? Uh, people. Uh -huh. Ah, guests, <laughs> invitados, right, guests. Uh. Ana, Ana Magaña, can you write the list? Okay. So, food, <coughs> drinks, guests, Marvin and Michelle, what do you think? How many things do you have? Three. Three, okay. Uh, People. <laughs> yeah, people is necessary. <laughs> you need guests. <laughs> Kenya and Andrea, I don't see you girls. 
Soy, soy bien fea, teacher, por eso no me gusta. <risa> Come on, that's not a request. Por dos, por dos, por dos. Okay. Better to see you, girls. Who say you're pretty? Who say you're not pretty? No. Us... <laughs> por dos, sí. No, not at all. Okay. So, how many objects do you have? How many things? Seven. Seven. Oh, wow, you're including about to the finish. people. Yes. Okay. Um, very good. When you finish, I want you to discuss the questions, okay? I sent you some questions for WhatsApp. When you finish the list, write down the, no. uh, discuss the questions when you finish, okay? Number one? No. Okay. Yes, you can use it. Something else? Um, eh, piñata en inglés es, se escribe igual. Piñata. Yes. Piñata. Okay. Music, balloons, cake, drink, candies. Candies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Candies. And food. It's a principle. <laughs> it's a main yeah. thing. Yeah, essential. When you finish the list, discuss the questions in WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Delia, what happened with your camera? That's a different one, right? <laughs> uh, my computer is all that computer uh -huh. feature. I can see. I I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just saying it looks very different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. Soda. Dish. Hemos dicho. Music. Bueno, se nos acabó el tiempo. Eso lo dijimos como seis. <laughs> no, 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 you no, still no. have time. <laughs> oh, <Hi>, sorry. <laughs> now I see you. <laughs> no, we still have time, so we can write those ten. Hi, Richard. Now I see you. Too. Hi, hi, teacher. When you finish, when you finish the list, discuss the questions. Okay. I sent them through WhatsApp. Repeat, please. For I have uh, problems. Connection, the internet. I'm saying when you finish the list, discuss the questions. Okay. Okay. terminemos la lista, hay que hacer las preguntas. Discuss them. Bueno, yo, tenemos nada más como siete. Okay, you, siete need, cosas. you need people too and a cake. Present, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven things is enough. That's fine. Uh, let's discuss the questions. Eric, read the first one. The question you said? In Number one. one. Yes. What images spring to mind when you hear the words party? Mm -hmm. That one? Yes. So, Hidania, when you hear the word party, what comes to your mind? Sorry, could you repeat, please? When you hear the word party, what comes to your mind? I understand. For, for me, party with no music. You prefer parties with no music? Really? <laughs> okay. And you, Richard? 
I need the music of the party and pool. Mm -hmm. um, tables. Tables, okay. Okay, read the second question, Richard. Okay. Do you like to party? Do you like party hard? Mm -hmm. eh, Como dijimos, este, comida, food. Pizza. <laughs> Beers. 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 Okay, let's finish the list and go to the first question. Full. Oh, yeah, check the first question. Oh. Uh, on the phone. What do you spring to mind when you hear word body? Mm -hmm. So when you when you hear the word party, what is the first thing you think of? What comes to your mind? Uh, Juanjo says maybe, food. Maybe clothes. Uh huh. Uh, me voy a poner? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let me see. I hear party. The first thing that comes to my mind is friends. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And you, Anna? <coughs> and I think in music and dancing. Okay, music and dancing. All right. Marvin? Uh, uh. For the life of uh, my son, my daddy, uh, for the yeah. The cat is a cake. I like cake. <laughs> I like it, cake. Me too. <laughs> this is um, no me voy de la fiesta si no me dan pastel. I don't leave the party without my cake. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> You love cake. <laughs> Beef soups. Yes. Yeah. Because the the party, for example, in in uh, in the place around the city, uh, for example, the wedding. They is a the 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 party or oh, spending the party the full day. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. <laughs> ever been in a worst party. So you have never been in a bad party. In a papa in a bad party. You have never. 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 I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the best party you have been to? Mm, when celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. But it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but, but can you me, describe it? Can mm, you describe the best all, party you have been to? All, re all relatives are in the, sure. the family, share time. Uh, dreams, Spend time together. Food. Yes. Yes, Stephanie. And uh, number four, what is throw? Throw a party. Uh, uh, how how no, many you say, parties you say, have you thrown? Throw a party is when mm -hmm. you offer the party. You are in charge of the party. So you throw okay. a party and you invite everyone. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, how many que Buscamos el significado y era como arrojar, entonces... Arrojar una fiesta. Sí. 
Um, you offer, offer the party, so you invite everyone. Okay. Okay. How many times have you thrown a party, Clara? Mm, maybe five. Five times. I, I, I don't sure, but. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And you, Stephanie? I don't know. A lot of parties. But you have thrown those house. parties. Really? Yes. Cool. <laughs> nice. Yes, with my friends or my family. Great. The last was toxic. <laughs> Why? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Tell us, tell us. Everybody got drunk? Yes. yes. <laughs> Finish at 5 a.m. AM. Yeah. And we start? The next day. <laughs> what time did you start? I'm going to die. Study at uh, 10 p.m. All the night. <laughs> Seven hours of drinking. Wow. <laughs> wow. New My record. cousin sleep with shoes. I sleep in. <laughs> it's better for go to the party in the house of someone else, but not in the mind. Mm -hmm. because it's a lot of work. You feel, you feel more comfortable. Uh -huh. Because if in my house a, a party, I don't want to clean the next. Yeah, that's right. You have to clean all the dishes, yeah. wash the dishes, and no, uh, no, 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 the worst, the worst. I prefer go to the party and yeah. don't make a party. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where do you guys live? Where? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Metapan. But, ah, a lot of people in this group are from Metapan. You too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You have to make a party there in Metapan for all these students. Yeah. They're like 20-something. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't like party here because uh, always have a can. And when they drunk... A dog. <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Qué mal impresión, no? When the guy's drunk... Uh huh. Uh, with her, with him, guns. Uh, guns. Da, 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 guns. Mm. They start shooting. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. so dangerous. So, really, what a bad hand. reputation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a school. Okay. That's, that is very interesting. Yeah. How the people celebrate in the wedding in India. Yeah. And they told me when the, the people have a lot of money, it's common the, the woman enter to the party in an elephant. Really? Yeah. That is but, crazy. Yeah, but they, it's, a, it's a different culture. It's a typical in, in this country. Number seven. Come on, guys. Let's practice. Okay, seven. Marvin, go ahead. Hi, yes. Uh, uh, was number six. Mm -hmm. What's the big six? Uh, 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 what's the best, the best beer party you, you ever had? Mm -hmm. este, eh, pues este, no he tenido. <laughs> best. Ajá, no. <laughs> eh, bueno. Eh, no, este, no sé cómo decir. Say it in English, <laughs> though. 
Quizás simplemente no he tenido. <laughs> okay, so I have never had. <laughs> I never had. Uh huh. A, like a great party. Great party. Okay. okay, good, good. I think we're gonna go back now. Okay, I'm waiting for everyone. So many cables here. Did you enjoy the practice? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Some of you did. I think the majority did. It was funny. I enjoyed it too. All right. So quickly and honestly, tell me what are those 10 things we need for a party? Quickly, guys. Come on. Cool. Okay. Music. Balance. Well, they're not so important, but yeah, okay. Candy. Candy. Red drinks. drinks. Yeah, in general, right, drinks. What Flowers. Else? Flowers. Flowers, really? <laughs> okay, what else? Games. Games, okay. Snacks. Guests, right? Invitados. First of all, guys, you need guests. Yeah. Clothes. <laughs> Clothes, yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes Chairs. sense. Sorry? Chairs. Ah, chairs. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You need tables. chairs and tables, right? Okay. That's good. Maybe a clown. Maybe a clown. Piñata. <laughs> a piñata, depending on what kind of party, right? Piñata. We... Very food, teacher. A lot of food. Mm -hmm. What is the first one? Hmm? Utensils. Utensils, yes. Place and utensils. Ah, plastic utensils, yeah. Or disposable utensils. Infinity. Karaoke. Karaoke, all right. Eh? Very good. Okay, we're gonna start a new topic. All right, uh, read the objective. Eric. By the end of this class, you will understand the use of relative clauses of time. Mm -hmm. Al final de esta clase entenderá sobre el uso de las cláusulas relativas de tiempo. <laughs> It's more confusing when you say it in Spanish. Okay, relative clauses of time. We're going to start with this, but we're going to learn relative clauses in general. So get the notebooks ready. So we can take notes. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. What a short video. Let's watch it again. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. the next one or maybe we have a part two here let me see yes here it is relative clauses of time thanksgiving is a day when north americans celebrate the harvest february 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love 
New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is a relative clause of time? A relative clause of time refers to a time, date, or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb be plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date, is is the verb be, a day, noun phrase, when, relative clause of time, people give presents to their loved ones would be the complement. Go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked to do the exercises. We want you to finish the following sentence using a relative pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mother's Day is a day. A wedding anniversary is a time. December is a month. Um, did you take notes, guys? Did you break down the structure? I hope you did. Let's look at the examples. First, let me see. We are going to learn all the free cell verbs anyway. Five minutes in here. Um, That's another class. Okay. Repeat with me. Pay attention, okay? Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Thanksgiving is a day when mm -hmm. North America uh, Americans celebrate the harvest. February is 14th. is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. February 14th is the day, is the day, is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Okay, we're going to write a similar expression here. Pay attention. So we're going to use the word when. Why is that so big? Okay, we're gonna say my birthday. What can I say about my birthday? My birthday, I have three options, guys. Is a day, is the day, is the night, the month, is the year. What can I say about my birthday? It's a day. It's a day. It's a day, or is the it's day. The day. The day, right, exactly, my birthday. Is the day when what do I do on my birthday, guys? When I celebrate when I, I celebrate with my family, celebrate with my family and receive presents. Yeah. Very good. Okay, what can we say about September? 15th. Independence Day. So we have to make the full sentence. It's, it's a month. It's, it's a day month. It's a day. It's a day. It's only one day, guys. We celebrate. We celebrate the ah, you know what? We're going to just say September. Okay. September is the month, the month when, when we celebrate. The Independence Day. Celebrate Independence. Right? Is that clear, guys? Yes. So you have to describe it using one of these, right? And then put a complement using when to give more ideas. Those are the options. Okay, another example. We're going to say, um, let me see. 
was here. Letting. Letting. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Lenin, what yeah. year were you born? Huh? What year were you born? What year? Ah. Uh, 1888. 1888. Okay, guys, look. 1888 is... The year. The year when... Lenin was born. Was born. <laughs> yes, teacher. I was born. It's nineteen. <laughs> Sorry. I have one hundred. You're like a hundred. Who knows? How old are you, Lenin? Oh, no. Lenin. Yeah. Lenin, you are hold on. You are thirty-two years old. No. 19... Ah, 42. 83. Hold on. 83. How old are you? 1983 era. Uh, <laughs> 1983. Uh, teacher. Okay, that makes sense. I <laughs> run because I feel a lot of pain in my back. So Yeah, right. Me. From sitting here all day. <laughs> so the pain in the back affected your... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> your thoughts are yeah. right. No problem. Sorry. Okay, guys, pay attention. Let me see. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, is it's okay say is a day or is a month? Yes. It depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends on what? Say it it, on what it is or, that you're talking about. For example, here you're saying in the first one, we're saying my birthday. Your birthday is a day, it's only one day. September is a month or the month. In this case, it's better to say the month. Okay. And this is, is the year because we're talking about a year. Here we're talking about a month. And here we're talking about a day. So it's depending on what you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Okay, you're talking a uh, uh, plural or singular? On a specific uh, period of the time? This is singular because September is a month. It's only one. Yeah. Okay, but if you want to, if you want me to give you a plural example, we can say, for example, um, let me see, Saturday and Sunday. What can I say here? I cannot say is, right? Because now I have are. two. Are, exactly. Saturday and Sunday are what? Months, no, right? Years, no. Days. Days, exactly. Because it's plural, so yeah, it depends on the subject. Are the day. Oh, are days. Mm -hmm. Are, maybe the days when I don't work. Maybe. Yeah. That's it. Can I use weekend? Yeah, you can say Saturday and Sundays are, well, you can say the weekend. The weekend, oh, yeah. the weekend is when I don't work. But that is, you're not when I don't work. Yeah, you can say it. Okay. And the, the thing is, what we're learning to use right now, guys, is when to connect ideas. If you notice in all the examples, we have when, 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 right? That's the idea. When. Okay, look at this. So we have, guys, when did we start studying English? You and I. What month? July. July, right? Yeah. We're gonna say July is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the month when we started intermediate two, right? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. 
So anyway, I want you to watch, let me see, what else do we have? This is a long topic, but we're gonna continue studying this week, okay? Not only with the platform, but with everything. Let's practice right now. Okay, number one, hey, Rebecca, go ahead. New Year's Day is a day when, uh, can you show me the option? It's a day when, people have parties party with family and friends. Okay, maybe. Next. Clara? Sara o Clara? Eh, Clara. Clara. Okay. April Fool's Day is a day when? Mm -hmm. You know what April mm. Fool's is? Fool is like Tonto, right? Engañado. People sometimes play tricks on friends. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's Dia de los Inocentes in, in Spanish. April Fool's. Play. Okay. Let me see. People sometimes play tricks. They see, play tricks on, on friends. Mm -hmm. Friends. Play, write this down, guys. Play tricks on friends. Juega broma, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Play trick. Yes. Play trick. Okay. Three, eh, Zaira. Number three, May and June are the month when? The months when? Oh, this is wrong, guys. It's the months, plural, plural. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Maybe uh, people in many countries on our workers. Many okay. young adults choose to get married. May and June. Ah, uh, yeah, in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, what is the favorite month to get married? December. 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 Why is that? September. December. December. Why why is December the favorite one? Because the people <laughs> win a, a lot of money. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> people receive their bonus from their Christmas yes. bonus at work. So they're like, oh, bring me that money, right? <laughs> For my wedding. <laughs> okay, very good. Everybody. Everybody gives a good present. <laughs> uh huh, exactly. You gotta play smart, you see. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Hey, Stephanie. Valentine's Day is a day when people I, express their love song to someone. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marvin. Hi. Tomorrow fight. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow fight. Yes. Hi, teacher. Yes, uh, number five. Mm -hmm. And. Eh, serían eh, people, people mm -hmm. in the money country on our work worker. Yes, that's right. That's the answer. Kelvin. Hey, somebody's singing. 
Kelvin. Okay, well, Anna. And then Richard, okay, so that you know, you're ready. February is the month when Brazilians celebrate Carnival. Carnival. In February, really? Let me see that. Yes. Teacher. Everything is right. I didn't ask you. <laughs> <We finished. Hey. laughs> Let me see. June is when the most beautiful was born. Me. <laughs> the most beautiful girl was born. That's a good example. Very good. All right. Now, um, this is related to a carnival. Hmm. We're not going to do this yet. When? No, we're not going to do this. I, we're going to start the topic instead. Relative clauses. So, guys, relative clauses are basically WH words. What are, okay, we have, this is the relative clause we just practiced, when, right? Okay, what other WH words do we have? When, what, what else? Which, where, where. Where? Where? Which? Okay. Who? Who? Hmm? What else? Why? Why? How? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're missing something. Who? Who's? Maybe. Who's is? Oh. Who's is? Cuyo. Okay. The quien. So, what else? When? What? Which? Where? When, I think that's it, who's, yes, that's it. Those are relative clauses too, to connect ideas, right? Similar to what we did with when. Now watch a video, take notes please, cause we're gonna give you the structure. Let's watch that video. Pay attention guys. Do you have talk about two, relative two, two clauses. premium relative clauses? <laughs> yes. Talk about relative clauses. Relative clauses can also be called adjective clauses. Relative clauses are used to give additional information. They function like an adjective. The formula is relative pronoun plus subject plus verb, or relative pronoun as a subject plus the verb. Let's look at this example. Tom is talking to a girl. Do you know the girl? Instead of repeating a girl and the girl twice, instead we can say, do you know the girl who is talking to Tom? Who is a relative pronoun. Who is talking to Tom is a relative clause. Here are the relative pronouns. The relative pronouns who or whom is used to describe people. Where is used to describe places. When is used for times. That and which are used for things. And whose is used to show position. Let's talk more about whose. We use the relative pronoun whose to show possession. For example, his book. The author whose book I just read is going to be in my town. His ears. The boy whose ears are big is in my class. Her cat. The woman whose cat bit me lives around the corner. We can use the relative pronoun whose to replace the possessive pronouns his and her. Sometimes we use different relative pronouns whether we're referring to the subject or the object. For example, New York is a city that never sleeps. New York, where I went last year, is a great place. Notice we use that if the relative clause doesn't have a subject. We use where if the relative clause has a subject. In this case, 
the relative clause contains the subject I. Here's another example. His birthday, which is in June, is his favorite day of the year. Here we use the relative pronoun which because the relative clause does not contain a separate subject. His birthday, when he turns 12 years old, is on a Monday this year. Here we use when because the relative clause contains the subject he. A lot of information. Okay, hey, uh, did plus you write the down the? Let's look at this example plus the verb. Teacher. Yes? Uh, please give me the address to watch the video again, please. Sure. I will send it here to the group so that you guys can take notes. But take notes right now. Okay, I'm sending it here to the chat, not WhatsApp here. Okay. Zoom. Teacher. Teacher Jan. Teacher Diane. Thank you. Saul, do you have a question? Saul? Sorry, teacher. Uh, was in. I I don't I don't questions. I just don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, write down the structure. Okay, relative pronoun, subject, and the verb. Um, we will see more examples tomorrow. Anyway, I want you to write this down, please. Write this down. So who is for people, where is for places, when is for time, that or which is for things, and whose is for possession. I need you to be in class tomorrow, please, because we I will explain this, give you more examples, and we will practice. Okay, so you need to be in class every night anyway, not just tomorrow. Anyway, um, okay, now let's practice. We already practiced when, now we can practice where. Okay, I'll give you some examples uh, with where. For example, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna start with this, San Salvador. What is San Salvador, guys? A country, a neighborhood, a city, a place? What is it? A city. Okay, a so city. San Salvador is the city or a city where- Is a country, Porque la ciudad es la capital, is a country. The capital, the capital uh -huh. of El Salvador. Yes. Okay, but let's say something about this. San Salvador is a city where, where what? What happens in San Salvador, guys? Where I work. Okay, that's good. San Salvador is the city where I work. What else? More examples, guys. Where I work, what of, else? Where is a lot of earthquakes. Where there are a lot of earthquakes. Ah, good. What else happens in San Salvador? Hey, okay, I'm traumatized. Because one of these days, um, I'll be sure. of an earthquake. Uh huh. Uh, San Salvador, there are many people we're, we're, with coronavirus. Okay, so look, San Salvador is the where? city where there are many infected people. Okay, what else? Now let's talk about another place, guys. A general place. We're gonna say the school. Mm -hmm. What is the school? Is the place, maybe? Okay. The place where, where, I, where we learn. Where we learn, where we learn, right? That's it. Okay, what is, for example, Inglés Corporativo, guys? 
Ahí. Inglés corporativo. What is that? Huh? It's a place. We, we can use is the platform, the platform. Is the platform where? Where? I learn. Will study English. Yes. So for places, right? Digital places or physical places, you're gonna use. Teacher, what is your name? Jocelyn. 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 <laughs> yes. Is where Jocelyn teaches, teaches ah, us English okay. online. Okay, so English Corporativo is the place where Jocelyn works. That's another example. Very good. <laughs> All right, that's it. Tomorrow we will continue with the rest of the um, of the relative clauses, okay? And we're gonna play a game using them. So please be in class. Do you have any questions? Teacher, I can okay. see the, I can see the video con, con esa dirección. Yeah, find it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I will send it to WhatsApp. Okay. Relative clause, only that. No, teacher that. Diane, so that you can get her. Ah, okay. Sure, Diane. Yeah. She has good videos. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I have to go. Thank I'll see you tomorrow. You Thank you. Thank you for being in class. Bye. Oh, the picture. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> Don't go yet. The picture. Here we go. Uh, smile. Thank you. All right. Now you can go. Bye. <laughs> see you.